Hey, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you that how can we make uh, an aging report, a receivable aging report, uh, by using a simple if function, if formula. Now, in this video, I'm not going to talk about that what it is a function, uh, what is an if function, and uh, how it works. In this video, I'm just showing you the application of this formula. Uh, when we are making a receivables report so uh, the data I'm using here is the data that I have used in the previous videos uh, the receive uh, these are my customers Mike Jimmy if you have watched the pivot table video just go check out the pivot table video the link is mentioned in the description now I'm using the same data here the customer names the invoice numbers and the, the regions where they're located, their pending amounts. Now, the, uh, I have added one more column in this, and this is an invoice date because I will require these dates in order to find the number of days uh, in terms of dates and how much old they are. Now, I will require the total number of days. How I will calculate it? First of all, I will write the today's date here. Let's say it's about today's. 31st March all right today is 31st March 16 and uh, we need our aging report till today so first I will uh, now in order to find the number of days let's uh, minus both dates this date minus the invoice date so you will get days Fred is owing me for over 57 days now I have one long outstanding which is Mike Mike owes me you know 455 uh, hundred pounds and uh, it's been 455 days so now uh, I for the aging purpose I have this less than 30 days column 30 to 60 60 to 90 90 to 120 and all outstanding above 120 days now the if function the application of if function uh, let me show you if the number of days is less than 30 then write these pending amounts otherwise write 0 sorry uh, the is equal to sign if the number of days is e uh, is less than uh, or equal to 30 days see this amount uh, this invoice is raised on f 1st March and uh, it's been 30 days so we need this amount in this column now it was so easy because uh, just one logical test and it will perform the function but for this here we need a range we need the outstanding which is greater than 30 days but less than 60 days so the way I will apply the if function is uh, if the formula that will apply is if these days are greater than 60 then write 0 because we don't need the outstandings uh, which have the number of days uh, greater than 60 right 0 comma another if function if these days are greater than 30 then write these pending amounts and if it's false write 0 see these out uh, let's say suppose these mics outstanding of 100 pounds 
uh, Mike has an out- Mike has a uh, outstanding Mike Mike is in my books for more than 60 days I don't need this uh, pending amount to show here in this 30 to 60 days column see it's nil but this invoice Fred's invoice uh, it's a three yep it's been raised in this in this range it's showing here same we will apply here that if number of days is greater than 90 then write zero another if number of days is greater than 60 then write the spending amounts otherwise write zero formula close <coughs> same we will do here if this number of days is greater than 120 then write zero another if this number of days is greater than 90 Standings which which have crossed the 120 days so I will just write a simple function here that if these number of days are greater than or equal to 120 then write these pending amounts otherwise write zero see that's how we can use a simple if formula this uh, in this aging report now here this report will help me to fasten up my recovery process as you can see that I have to fasten up you know I these invoices needs my focus that why these uh, invoices are pending uh, 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 more than you know 120 days see that then owes me Sorry, then the here uh, is Henry. Henry owes me 150 pounds, more than 149 days. So I have to fasten up the recovery process. Uh, so in this video, uh, we can see that how can we use uh, and, and we can and this and uh, as you can see, I'll link this date to these number of days. So we, if we change the date over here, just like if I change the date is April. 15 April the report will change automatically according to the current date thanks for watching